rotation matrices and the dihedral group which includes rotations and reflections and we could think well could we just make some matrices that have the same rules as the dihedral group and yeah we can and so let's let's do that now and this is like a really important maybe we could call it like a matrix representation so so let's look at these matrices Let's look at R, which is equal to the cosine of 2 pi over N. And then here we'll have minus the sine of 2 pi over N. And then here we'll have the sine of 2 pi over N. And then here we'll have the cosine of 2 pi over N. So this is rotation by 1 nth of a circle, right? 1 over n of a circle, right? Because yeah, 2 pi is a whole circle. Good, and then let's say s is equal to this. So 0, 1, 1, 0. So what's that? So that is uh, reflection, let's see, reflection about this line right here, I believe. Yeah, it's reflection about that line. So let's notice the following. So let's notice that r to the k, by our rule over there, is just going to be, well, you're just going to add that angle to itself k times, right? Because look, we multiply those matrices and the angle adds. So here we're multiplying r to itself k times, so this angle is going to add to itself k times. So that's going to give us the cosine of 2 pi k over n the negative sine of 2 pi k over n, the sine of 2 pi k over n, and then the cosine of 2 pi k over n. But then if r to the k is that in general, tell me what r to the n is. Well, it's going to be the cosine of 2 pi n over n, aka the cosine of 2 pi. What's the cosine of 2 pi? 1. <laughs> So that means here on the diagonal is 1. And then this is going to be the sine of 2 pi, Which is zero. 0. So we get the identity matrix. And then what happens if we square this S? Uh, 